Hi, um, sorry you caught me checking out this uh, three-pack of Underberg uh, bitters, which I'm very much looking forward to enjoying after a good Thanksgiving meal coming up here very shortly. Welcome to the special Thanksgiving edition, 2022 edition of tonight's double feature. My name is Paul. Thank you for... Uh, watching the program today, and uh, this is going to be, you know, something that might seem a little bit obvious on the surface uh, in terms of Thanksgiving-themed films, but uh, I think it's two movies that we're talking about tonight that are really the perfect Thanksgiving double feature. So, got the fireplace going. I thought I, I would put it on because I don't actually want to have the movies on the TV in case um, uh, I get in trouble. I don't want to get in trouble for this particular episode. Because we're talking about, up first, of course, the one, the only Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. The Thanksgiving movie. I don't think there's really any debate about it, you know, in terms of... Uh, who sits at the top. It's it's Planes, Trains. And uh, obviously you have, as you take a look at the uh, beautiful lenticular case here on the DVD, you got John Candy, you got Steve Martin. It's a John Hughes film. It's one of the all-time classics. If you haven't seen the film, you know, if you're out there and, and, and for whatever reason this one has um, slipped through the cracks for you, you got to go check it out. I'm going to keep this spoiler free so you can continue to watch the video. But uh, please, by all means, um, if you need to borrow my DVD or anything like that, do let me know. But um, yeah, this is the, uh, you see that? This is the there, those aren't pillows edition of, of the film. And um, this is a movie that is extremely funny obviously i mean it's a it's a great comedy but the reason that it's so popular and the reason that it has um endured for so many years decades really is that it's heartfelt and it has a great um you know story and message at the center of it that uh really pulls on the pulls on the heartstrings a little bit especially at the end um so We'll just take a look at the DVD. I think if you've seen the movie, you kind of know what it's all about. It's about trying to get trying to get home for the holidays. There we go. Slightly different cover on the DVD. It's about trying to get home for the holidays. It's about um, uh, John Candy's character and Steve Martin's character kind of joining forces being forced really to join forces to in order to uh, try to find various means of transportation to get home for Thanksgiving dinner. Um, and it's, it's just an absolute delight on all levels. Parts of it, uh, well, a lot of it actually was shot up in the Chicagoland area. Um, and there's a, actually a, a motel that they both uh, stay at in the film that I drive past all the time on uh, 55. I live in central Illinois. So if I'm ever going up to Chicago or coming coming back down, I pass by the motel. You can see it from the highway. And uh, needless to say, I think about this film pretty much every time I pass it. Because how can you not really? Um, yeah, uh, Neil Page and Del Griffith is the name of their characters. And obviously one of the other things that makes, uh, this film such a classic is the chemistry between Steve Martin and John Candy. They are so good together, uh, in this film. And, um, if, if I understand correctly, John Hughes wrote this movie uh, over the course of one weekend, which is just ridiculous. So it's the sort of thing where it's lightning, lightning in a bottle, you know? 
they they knocked it out really fast um and they got gold now i just want to mention this because it's been in the news lately uh, you know i have the dvd here and the dvd is perfectly fine um but the 4K edition of this film just came out uh, recently, and I have been reading some pretty not great reviews of the um, 4K edition, 4K release of this film, unfortunately, because people were very excited about um, the long-awaited deleted scenes that have never been put out before on, on any sort of previous release. Um, and from what I understand, I, you know, I've watched some YouTube reviews and read a few things. Um, unfortunately, it's not, it's not great. The, the, the deleted scenes are in not great shape, which isn't the end of the world to me, but uh, the 4K release of the film itself um, the quality has, is not very good. That is what I, based on the, re, you know, reviews that are out there. Um, so uh, it's, it's tough to say, haven't, you know, I haven't seen it, but the Blu-ray wasn't very good either. I had the Blu-ray at some point and I, I lost it. I think I let somebody borrow it and never got it back, but that's fine because the Blu-ray wasn't very good either. So really like you can kind of still stick with the DVD if you want to, if you don't have it, um, and you see it, you know, in a bin for five bucks or, or something. This is the, those aren't pillows edition is still really not a bad, you know, bad way to go. Um, but you know, totally, totally the classic Thanksgiving movie. So I watch it every single Thanksgiving. I truly do. And I will certainly be doing it again this Thanksgiving. And I hope you will as well, because uh, it's just an absolutely delightful film. That's movie number one, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Now, let's get into something that, uh, let's get into a movie here for our second film that is Something that is not talked about nearly as much, uh, not nearly, you know, considered uh, a classic, really, I don't think. But in my opinion, is uh, an excellent film and a film that is very much about Thanksgiving. Um, it's Pieces of April, starring Katie Holmes. Uh, this is a film, Planes, Trains came out in, I want to say, 87 this film right here came out in um, 2003, I want to say. Let me just check because I might be wrong. No, 2003 this film came out. Pieces of April. And this is a movie about, once again, uh, getting together for the holidays, getting your family together for uh, the Thanksgiving holiday. And it's very different from Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. It's much more of a... Uh, drama, much more of a family drama, and sort of, a, um, what would you call it, sort of a friends that you make along the way situation. Because Katie Holmes' character here, April, lives in New York City, and her family, her parents and her brother and sister and her grandmother, are... Uh, coming over to her apartment in New York City to uh, have Thanksgiving. And everyone's a little, uh, everyone's very on edge about it because April is kind of the black sheep of the family. There's a lot of, um, you know, un unresolved issues within the family. And uh, you can see here, uh, pictures of, well, this is her, her parents, played by Oliver Platt, and, um, oh gosh, forgive me, I can't remember her name, let me look at the back here, Patricia, P Patricia Clarkson, I remembered it, and she's got some neighbors in the film that give her issues, and this is her boyfriend over here. This movie is so 
well crafted. It's a small, you know, independent production. Um, but it's so well done. It's so heartfelt. Bring, bring the Kleenex, I'm telling you, because by the end of this movie, you're definitely going to need them. It's one that, once again, really uh, will pull on the heartstrings a little bit by the end of the film. Um, let me just run through the entire cast for you to make sure that I have this right, because it's a great cast. And I got the really tiny text at the bottom here. You know, I'm just going to read the whole thing. I don't care. Katie Holmes is, quote, terrific says People Magazine, as the quirky black sheep of her family in this delightful comedy, I guess it's kind of a comedy, uh, that, spark, quote, sparkles with acerbic wit, original characters, and genuine heart, says Variety. Patricia Clarkson gives a career-making performance, says Box Office, and the entire cast is inspired, says Film Threat, in this Quote, moving, hilarious comedy. People magazine again. Rebellious daughter, April Burns, has offered to host an elaborate Thanksgiving dinner for her stubborn clan in the Lower East Side, in her Lower East Side apartment. But her attempts to create an unforgettable feast go awry when she discovers that her oven doesn't work. Now, as her weary family makes its way to the city, April must rely on the kindness of strangers to pull off the perfect meal and the perfect memory. And let me tell you, the, one of the main reasons that I love this movie, it's the stuff that they say at the end right here, the kindness of strangers. She lives in this apartment building. It's, a, it's pretty run down. Um, and obviously New York City, quite the melting pot, so what you end up getting in this movie is a great mix of diverse people who all live in the same building, uh, who are all trying to make a Thanksgiving, you know, dinner for their family and friends. And it ends up being this great little statement on uh, diversity and coming together. And it's just wonderful. If you are like me and you're a sucker for um, a movie that has a lot of different types of people coming together, you're going to love this. You're going to love this one. My, what happened in my fireplace? There we go. Um, Pieces of April. Uh, highly, highly recommend. Some special features on the back of the uh, DVD here, but I'm going to tell you this thing needs a new release. Um, this thing needs to come out on Blu-ray and 4K. So I guess uh, MGM, president of MGM, if you're watching this uh, video, please put out pieces of April on Blu-ray and or 4K. It's brisk. It's an hour and 20 minutes. There's some really funny stuff, but it's very heartfelt. So really, you know, let's get our thumbnail going here. These two movies right here is is what, in my opinion is kind of the ultimate Thanksgiving one-two punch, you know? Come on. There we go. You know what I mean? So, listen, a um, couple just quick... Let's hang out for a second talk about a couple things. Um, maybe you guys have heard the news, maybe you haven't, uh, but I just thought I would address it briefly on my own program to talk about the fact that B-Movie Mania, the podcast, is essentially uh, ending its six-year run. We put out a statement uh, at this point a couple weeks ago on Instagram and all of our social medias that we are just kind of moving things in a different direction. And, um, you know, me and Jay are working on some new feature films. Um, and we just want to focus on that a little bit more. I think the general idea is that um, B-Movie Mania is going to put out some content um, every now and then. Here on YouTube, maybe a podcast every now and then. But really, 
you know, look, we did it for six years and it gets to the point where um, if you've ever tried to do a podcast, you know that it's a lot of work. And we just, at least I got to a point where I said, uh, I need a break uh, or maybe a forever break from doing this. So, um, you know, I'm excited about the stuff that we're going to be doing in the future, in the future, but with me and Jay's new uh, feature films that we're working on, um, we, you know, that's taking, that's going to take up a lot of our time. And I'm happy about that. I love making movies and I hope that you'll check it out. Uh, I'll leave some links down below. Um, if you would like to follow our various things on social media so that you can keep up with our uh, various endeavors. Um, but I just thought I would address that briefly, uh, just so there's no confusion that, um, you know, I'm not going to be on the show much anymore um, because I prefer to focus on, on some other stuff. The last episode, uh, as of right now, the last episode of B-Movie Mania is not out yet. It should be coming out uh, in a week or two. Chris is sort of uh, putting the finishing touches on it. Uh, we decided to take a little extra time, you know, to make sure that... Um, that it was, you know, since it's essentially the last episode, that it is quality and that it is what we want it to be. I assume Chris is <laughs> doing that. Um, so stay tuned for that last episode of B Movie Mania. And like I said, links down below in the comments uh, or in the description for um, some of our movie stuff that we're working on. In terms of this show, in terms of tonight's double feature, I think it's going to be kind of the same thing where I'm going to probably put an episode out very sparingly. Um, but, you know, I mean, the, really the whole point of this show has been for me to be able to do it when I want to, to have fun with it, to just kind of hang out and, you know, chat about a couple great movies. But uh, as I get busier with some of this other stuff, I'll probably be putting these out uh, much less frequently. But we'll see. You know, again, it's probably just going to be kind of whenever, whenever I feel like it. But until then, I hope you have a great Thanksgiving. I hope you uh, make sure that after a good meal, you, you slam an Underberg because it's a wonderful uh, digestif you know, to have after a big meal. It's going to make your tummy feel a lot better. Um, and it's intense. Don't you know, like be careful because it's pretty intense, but it's, it's worth it. So, and, you know, sit back, enjoy some planes, trains, and pieces of April with an Underberg after a good meal. Have a great Thanksgiving. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time on tonight's double feature.